waiting for me? Well, I'm here. So, today, we're going for Best Eats Auckland Pie Edition. Come on, let's go. New Zealand has some of the best pies in the world and I've rounded up three of Auckland's best. They have won the Supreme Gold Standard Pie Awards for 2017. Means we're gonna have some world-class pies, people. If you're a kid that grew up in New Zealand and you had my similar kind of childhood, then you probably grew up on pies as well. Um, they were cheap, they were nutritious, sort of. <laughs> uh, I, used to, I used to take a route back from school and there was always a Georgie Pie on the way back. So I don't know how many times I stopped off at Georgie Pie, got myself a $1 mince pie. Fond memories. Often when my parents used to be on the come up living in New Zealand, they used to just leave me at home eating pies because you know they were cheap once again whether they were Irvine's or Big Ben you put them in the freezer put them in the microwave two minutes on high boom delicious meal right there so yeah is that why you're a chubby baby <laughs> so we have just arrived at Richie Richu Rich Richie's Patissieri cannot wait to get this mince and cheese pie 2017 gold winner. Oh man, it's gonna be delicious. All right, I'm just, oh, just having a look at these pies in the pie cabinet. They look so good. Cannot wait to get this. Let's go. Hey, mate. Hello, how's it going? Good thing. Got that mince and cheese pie. I'm ready for that first bite. You know, this is such a simple dish, but it's such a delicious one. Pastry on the outside, meat and cheese on the inside. Sounds delicious to me right now. I'm salivating. Let's just have a big bite. Let's see how they taste. Mmm. Wow. That's no Big Ben's or Irvine's pie or Georgie pie. This is a Ritu patisserie pie. It's just delicious. The high quality meat's in there. The gravy's so good. It tastes like a roast that's sitting inside it. Flaky, crusty pastry, buttery pastry. Oh man, that's good. I can see why this is the 2017 gold winner. I gotta get it for another bite. That's just so good. Mm. New Zealand always makes delicious pies. The cheese is starting to ooze out. Oh man, I could eat 10 of these. Perfect. Next up on this pie venture, we are going to Dairy Flats where we're going to try the gold winner for potato top and fruit pies. We are in the middle of nowhere in Dairy Flat looking for this pie place. Um, I'm pretty sure we're on track because Google tells us that we just got a couple more minutes to go. But yeah, you, you don't, you're not seeing much city life around here. About to get this award-winning potato top and this fruit pie. Oh man, this place smells like a pie haven. Can I grab a potato top and the um, gold winner fruit pie as well, please? Thank you. First up, we are having this potato top pie. It smells so good, exactly like how that bakery smells. The pastry on this one is a little bit different. Um, it's like really smooth and then you got this nice flaky potato on top. Alright, I can't wait. I need to have a bite of this, okay? Mmm. Wow. I can see why this is a gold winner. This crispy potato on top is actually hiding a delicious soft potato underneath. The mints inside this one tastes like a more classic style of mints. Not like the Richu's patisserie where you got more chunky stuff, chunky pieces of mints. This one is more gravy and little pieces of mints. Never had a fruit pie before. This is going to be my first time. Interesting everything, I would say. Um, it's a very densely feeling pie. It seems like there's a sugar glaze on top with a little cherry in the middle. Let's take a bite out of this and find out how good it is. If anything, it just tastes like an apple crumble. The pastry is exactly like that, of an apple crumble. There's apples inside, quite nice. 
We are now crossing from one end of Auckland to the other end of Auckland. It's going to be an over an hour drive, but it's going to be worth it because at the end of this stop, we're going to reach Crown Bakery where they've got 2017 Gold Award for the best mince pie. That's the classic. That's the holy grail of pies. That is the pie that all other pies want to be when they grow up. We're at our final stop, Crown Bakery in Pukekohe and about to get that gold medal mince and gravy pie. Unfortunately, they've all sold out right now, but the nice guy has said that if we wait 20 minutes, he'll cook us up a new one. Okay, so the pie has just arrived. This thing smells absolutely amazing. I can smell, I can smell butter and delicious pastry. So get in for this first bite. That is amazing. This gives me memories of when you get a pie and you're starving at school. And um, that first bite into that pie is just so good. This is like delicious, flaky, crusty pastry and then straight into some absolutely 100% high quality mints. crumbs all over me but I don't care right now the mints the gravy the crust it is 10 out of 10 here with the owner Lee thank you very much for a delicious pie Lee out of the three that I've had in Auckland this one is number one you can't beat a classic mince pie it's just done to the highest standard that you can make of mince and mince pie so that was amazing thank you so much so thank you for coming yeah <laughs> thank you a lot yeah you cry so far here so yeah i'm <laughs> um, be happy thank you yeah. so this shop has only been open for, for seven months seven months yeah yeah so yeah, yeah there you go yeah. you got to come here you got to get a pie it's fantastic you're going to be full you're going to be happy thank you <laughs> thank What's up guys? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Best Eats Pie Edition. It was a lot of fun to bring it to you. We ate a lot of really good pies. Yen's been working really hard on the website. I'm going to leave the link down below. She's been adding a lot of great content on there. If you want to see more of this content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. There's going to be plenty more footage to come. Catch you all next time. I don't think I can make it any more further than this. My legs are really a part now. <laughs> okay, I'm getting down. This is getting scary. Have you turned off the camera? Yeah, it's off.